on Whit Sunday, June 6, 1976, a 20-year-old daughter and her partner approached her parents' weekend cabin, situated on a remote meadow by the forest's edge just outside the quaint village of Seven in the Swiss countryside. Upon noticing traces of blood and several cartridge cases on the ground, as well as the unusual absence of her father's car, they were instantly filled with horror, drove back to the village and rang the police. Upon their arrival and investigation on the scene, the police discovered five lifeless bodies, each bearing at least one gunshot wound to the forehead, fired at point-blank range. The grim scene bore a striking resemblance to a cold-blooded murder committed by the mob. However, this wasn't a bustling restaurant in southern Italy, but a secluded cabin in the Swiss countryside. The police secured all evidence in and around the cabin, established a headquarter at the local inn and gathered statements from village residents. Curiously, no one reported having heard gunshots, seen a suspicious individual or observed a distinctive green car belonging to one of the victims. And as the day passed, the public, press and television stations gathered around the inn and the quiet village, Seven soon becoming the epicenter and the synonym for the most famous and perplexing murder case in Switzerland's criminal history. Who was the killer that in cold blood and with chilling precision executed five people? And what was his motive? Stay tuned for the unfolding of another gruesome murder case as part of the Swiss Murder Mystery Podcast series. This is the Seven Murder Mystery an investigative true crime podcast by Playground Media Productions. Researched, written and hosted by me, Rudolf Eisler. Coming soon to Apple Podcasts, Spotify and various other platforms. Please do visit our website at swissmurdermysteries.com for additional information.